a type of figurative language and it's called idioms. Okay. And idioms is a type of figurative language that converts what is said so that it has a kind of different meaning. Now, there are lots and lots of different types of figurative language. We've learned about similes. What are similes? Similes are writing. Similes are things that are similar. Similar. Using what two words? Like or as. Like or as. It's taking two things that are not the same and showing how they're similar using like or as. For example, that girl is as tiny as an ant. We know she's really not that tiny, but it's showing that she's very small. Another type of figurative language we've learned about are metaphors. They are like similes, except they say one thing is another. For example, the clouds are fluffy marshmallows in the sky. We know the clouds are really not marshmallows, but it gives us that signal that the clouds are white and fluffy. Figurative language is used to make writing more interesting and more fun for the reader. Idioms are a way to do that. So what are idioms? Idioms are expressions which are different from the usual meaning of the individual word. This is an idiom. Read it. I I want you to think about that. Those girls are two peas in a pod. Is it really two little peas in a pod? No. no. I hope not. I hope not. How many of you already heard this, but you have no idea what it means? Okay. Who has never heard it before? Who heard it and they know what that is? What do you think that is, Dave? They're like, they, they were really close. Really close? Liza? Ouch. Like that's gonna have to be edited. Like what? Um, I was gonna say what Dayton said. What he said, Josh? Like sticking together. Sticking together, like B uh, F uh, F S. Best friends. means they're inseparable. They're best friends. My hands are tied. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard that before? Who's never heard that before? Can we erase my first box so we can see what it's showing? My hands are tied. So, I've never heard that. How many of you? I've heard it, but I have no idea what it is. I know what that is. How many of you? I know what that is. What do you think it is, Zachary? Your hands are hurting. Anybody want to elaborate? Hands are tied because maybe you have too much to do. I want Zachary to go ahead and reveal. Go we'll steal from the kitchen and reveal. The short. Who was right? Joshua. Joshua was right. Way too much to do. My hands are tied. I can't help you. I have too much to do. Sometimes it also means I can't help you because it's not within my authority or my ability. Parts, parts, and more parts. What would happen if idioms really meant what they
they said. Things are bad and getting worse. Each day it's something new. With all the stuff I hear about, I don't know what to do. One day I tripped on my red truck and it just fell apart. But when I told my mom, she said, I bet that broke your heart. What is his heart like? What do you think? She really meant that his heart really break? It will be really sad. Was it really broken? No. no. It made him sad. I guess that's possible. Who knows? I don't think Mom would lie. I'd better play more carefully. This pillow's worth a try. I'm going to break my heart this time. People say all kinds of things that I don't understand. Like when my dad asked me if I would please give him a hand. Oh. Oh. Shout it, remove it, give it. No? What do you think his dad really means? Discuss with your partner. with the idiom and then the class is going to vote yes or 
You got it right? Or no. Or no, they don't think you got it. Misha, come full of meaning. <clears throat> what does it say, Misha? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. She matched it up with what cost? Get off my face. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Taylor Schwartz. shake a leg. Okay, they're saying shake a leg. What do you think, Taylor? I would think he was giving me a hand, but it's not. Okay, well let's leave it. Let's see what happens. Eliza? Because remember, we're going to have a meeting for each one, so if we get to something that makes us move things, then we move. I won't tell. Matches with what class? My lips are sealed. What y'all think? Yes. T. Taylor. faster out. Okay. Yeah. Do you agree with that, Taylor? Mm -hmm. Do you think it matches better with give me a hand? Yeah. Next is Braxton. Text evidence. 